Okay, New York Post meat market questionnaire. I'm terrified because I've never been on a blind date. Basics. Brendan Sullivan. Occupation. Uh, how long have you been a New Yorker? 11 years? You're already asking for my number, so it's going great. Don't worry, though. I'm not going to set you up with anybody crazy. Tonight's my blind date, and I don't have any date underwear. I need to bring my A game. I need to look good, feel good. Honestly, why do I even have these? Don't get nervous, but I did just get nervous. It's going to be one of those days where I'm nervous, and I never pick a tie length. So, I'm, I'm guessing it's a person who actively wants to meet someone on the New York Post singles. I'm not saying other avenues haven't worked out for her. That's mean. I'm going. Why wouldn't someone else who's just adventurous go? Okay, not get this. Do I think we'll fall in love at first sight? No. Look, I'm not gonna get better looking by tonight, okay? Am I on straight? The New York Post is covering the tab, so at no point is it in any of our advantages to walk out that door unless we hate each other. Here's something to think about. What is she thinking right now? I'm tall, I'm 6'2". So if she's imagining some like bald little imp, that's not me. I'm not saying I'm better than that or that I have a better job than someone she might worry about. Unfortunately, at the same time as this date, um, my friend's film that I kickstarted is uh, debuting. This is a mixed blessing because if she says, oh, I feel so underdressed, I'll just say, oh, my friend had his movie premiere right before this. With who, what, or when are you happiest? Jackie's making an unscheduled visit. What are you, look at this dress. I always feel a little better if I see Jackie right before I go out. Look. I'll let you take a picture. Oh, you wanna take a picture? Where's my good luck kiss, huh? I love that woman. On a Friday night, I'd rather go to a movie, concert, sporting event, dive bar, karaoke bar. Definitely not karaoke. I'm looking for the uh, a screening. You have a screening? This way. This way. To the left and the left on the stage. Thank you. Here, all my friends are here. I can't leave. Elise is out there. You remember Elise from Babysitting? There is no way I'm gonna make the movie and dinner. Everybody who made this film possible, it was definitely a labor of love. Second email will come to you the day of the date, probably around an hour to two hours before you two meet up. Mm -hmm. In that email will be um, the first name of the person that you're going to meet mm -hmm. and a couple of tidbits of information about them. I hope you're excited for your date with Annette. Aesthetically, she checks off some of those boxes. I can't remember what those were. Never send a smart ass answer on a questionnaire, especially about dating especially for a job, for any interview situation. Tell us about your hobbies. I don't have hobbies. Who has hobbies? Fuck hobbies. Fuck hobbies. What personality type do you get along best with? Adventurous? I want someone who's adventurous. I do. Workaholic. I'm in the arts. I need someone who understands like the job isn't done just because it's five o'clock. Chill. Chill? Who the fuck is chill? Music. What song and or album is your favorite jam of all time? My favorite jam of all time? This is, that's harder than finding a wife. She does have wild hair. Why did I mention hair? I don't even care about hair. What physical features catch your eye? I don't know, nice hair, nice butt? You asked, I said it. Are race, religion, or age important factors regarding who you date? Note this won't be published. I'm gonna say none, blow my mind. I'm from Connecticut, I went to a liberal arts college. I meet plenty of like irreligious white people in their 20s and 30s. Let's try something new. Definitely doesn't look like any of those. White people born in the 80s.
got an email from the post saying that they didn't tell them that I'd be filming this. Great. What movie can you watch over and over again? Point break. Do you have a celebrity look-alike? And if so, who? And if so, I feel bad for that guy. This is the best date of your life. It's the easiest one. Can you dance? Kind of. an hour into the date is when it feels like a New York Post date because that is when a photographer from the Post mm -hmm. will come by. They'll take a couple of pictures of you two for the, um, for the camera. Won't be paparazzi style. They'll be in, they'll be out, and then you two are free to do what you want for the rest of the day. So there you go, you're recording. Okay. Do you want to talk? Feel free to take your time. So as I've been encouraged to video diary that you made this far, I just say I'm having fun. Good conversation and I, I like someone that I can talk to and hear different stories about and that I don't feel self-conscious around. A little refreshing in New York when everyone's trying to do someone else's thing. So. Thumbs up. Let's just turn this around a little bit. So these are the rows that are across from us. They've been particularly uh, boisterous this evening. It's fun background noise, I guess. Welcome back. Hey, how are you? I think people are looking at my face. Oh, I definitely got other uh, surrounding environments. <laughs> It's in the back camera. Oh my god, Doc, get it together. What do you want to the, the best man here? Duff. Duff, get it to fucking together. You have one job. A toast. <laughs> Come on, bro. He looks back, he checks back with us. I'm sure that was their most like, self aware <laughs> moment of the whole night, right? Oh, that's adorable. That was kind of cute. What like. kind of part of their event now? I think we're sort of their wives. It's like, oh, what would Tiffany think? She's oh, she'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> So dinner went well. We have pretty similar culinary tastes. The uh, rows across from us are on to us. So now we're in the dessert portion of our dinner. And Thievery Corporation beyond. If that's not a good sign. Interview. Oh, what are the questions? What was the highlight of the day for you? Potentially, maybe sort of talking about music. Would you do it again? Sure, yeah. Okay, I would too. The other important thing is the lack of information that I give, of course, includes no phone number is given to you mm -hmm. from the other person or the other person of doesn't course. have your number, which gives you two a chance to decide for yourselves whether or not you want to see each other again. Wait, is this your train? I think so. Okay, give me your number. Quick, before I can Ready, ever get it again. Set, I'm not allowed go. to get it oh after this. God. Bye, get home safe. Bye. I'm gonna call that a successful night. You laughed a lot. What turns you on and what turns you off? This question's for the phone What does turn me on? What turns you on? Confidence, nice smile. Nice butt, okay. Girls will bite their lower lip and they're nervous. I can't do it. I can't do it.